So, you know that feeling like when you are just like really sad? <laughs> and like you just like feel like you can't do anything. Even just like walking and like getting up out of your chair or your bed is just like the worst and the hardest like feeling in the entire world. Well, I was feeling that. The feeling was so, it was so overwhelming. I was like, like, I wanna see if I can try and like translate this into a painting. So um, I came up with this first like composition or like this concept where there's one of me just like laying on the floor, just completely flat my face. And that to me is just like the entire feeling in itself. And I was like, I kinda wanna make it more uh, interesting because I like doing interesting perspective. Keep in mind, most of this is happening in my mind with this concept. It just it, like, it wasn't working in my mind. But then I was like, what if there's just a bunch of other people also on the floor and then i was like wait what if they're all on top of each other like a giant pile i think it made even more sense because they were all me i was the one who was keeping me down i feel like it's a pretty basic concept kind of like perfect for like the feeling that i was trying to encompass if that's even a word i don't even know then i got to work i started to put my camera up I at first it was going to be on the floor but then i was like mm, might as well be on my bed that's how it came up with my idea basically it's just like one train of thought and it just like it leads to other stuff really different from what i usually do so i just was like i don't know what people are gonna think i was like well i want to do it so i don't really care what people think because i think it's gonna be fun things first is we start with a little bit of a sketch but before that we had to edit the reference photo <laughs> i did not show you guys how i did that basically i just took all the photos i screenshotted it from the videos that i took and then i edited them all together in procreate using magic and it looks a little something like this now i know what you're thinking it looks a little weird it looks a little terrible. And this is where I started to panic a little bit. So I made myself a very simplified sketch to help me figure out where everything went and what everything was because the photo was a little bit confusing. And then I was like, all right, I guess it's time to sketch. And I was like, should I use canvas or should I use paper? And I was like, eh, uh, 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 uh. And then I was like, I'm gonna use paper because on paper I can use colored pencils as well because on canvas, it's a little harder to use colored pencils. So I took out some Canson mixed media paper, not sponsored, but they should sponsor me uh, because one of my friends gave it to me because he had like 20 extra somehow. So I don't even know how that happened. And I decided to use my projector to sketch it out because I did not want to waste my time doing it freehand, even though I very much can. So all you haters can make chill. You guys can make chill. I sketched out and then I was like, let's do a little bit of an underpainting. And I mixed a little bit of magenta and blue to get kind of like a purplish. Uh, underpainting. I did do it a little bit thick so you can barely see the sketch like afterwards so I basically had to do it freehand anyways <laughs> um, later when I was painting but that's okay. And I did the underpainting because I just wanted to really have this painting have like a bluish purplish hue and mood like a really sad deep I don't know. I don't know what I'm doing half the time. <laughs> When I do an underpainting, I can just have some of that color peek through if I don't cover it up or whatever, instead of like white showing through. Then I started blocking in some of the colors and I was like, okay, we are getting somewhere for sure. You know, you're getting somewhere for sure. And again, when I was blocking in the colors, it was really watered down and the colors were still very muted. I feel like they were like toned down with blue to, you know, get those blues coming through. After that, I added some more shadows, some details, you know how it is. Then I was like, all right. And then I guess it's time to like add colored pencils. And I was like kind of really excited because I love adding detail with colored pencils. It's just so fun. I'm a nerd. I sound like such a nerd. <laughs> So everything was going right, everything was going dandy, everything was going smooth until something terrible happened. 
Now I know what you're thinking, what could have possibly happened? And nothing actually happened at all. It's just that I was working on it and I was like, this looks like this looks bad, right? Like this looks pretty terrible, right? I don't know. I wasn't feeling it and the reference I was using was really confusing and the lighting it's just in all sorts of places and the faces and the hands and the perspective is just so weird with everything. Oh my god. <laughs> She's a floater. <laughs> I was not enjoying doing it anymore. I was just, I was not having fun. It was not happening. Then I was like, fine, whatever. I'm leaving to New York in a couple days anyways. So I'll just take a little bit of a break, come back, look at it with fresh eyes and I'll fix it up, right? Wrong. <laughs> Okay, because I come back after four days and I'm like, okay, let's hunker down. Let's get this done because I don't want to be working on this no more, right? I don't want to, I just, I was, I just, I, w I gave up on it basically. And I just didn't want to touch it anymore. I just, it was, but then I was like, Kamala, you can't think like that because then it's going to turn out even worse. So I started working on it again. I fixed up um, some of the arms, some of the feet, some of the whatevers. It came to the background and here's where it all went wrong for sure yeah i didn't know what to do in my mind i had always thought of just doing like kind of like the bed sheets you know have them laying on a bed but the reference was so weird but whatever i was like i'm gonna keep going so i started to you know add some bed sheet wrinkles but they were not like they just did not look right at all so then i went to my trusty fans on tiktok and i was like hey guys tell me what to do some of y'all's ideas <laughs> were a little you know but then one person was like just paint the background black perfect let me do this right now and i was really hesitating because i really liked like the texture of like the paint strokes in the back and i wanted to incorporate that somehow but i was like i've thought of so many different things it's not even worth it like point is i painted it black and then i was like i like this but it's also missing something you know so then i went back to my trusty uh, fans on tiktok and i was like guys does this look done or should i add more some like something else and again you guys did not pull the room somebody said a prescription Prescription bottle. Like, I'm not gonna make some emo depressed. <laughs> You know that feeling like when you are just like really sad? <clears throat> it's not funny, but point is, after a long, hard day, I was actually really sad about this because I didn't know what to do. And after a while, I decided I just want this entire thing. Entire thing to be done. So I'm just gonna leave it as it is. And um, that's where we are. So that's literally my entire painting process. If you're asking me why I made this, it's because I, when I first started recording this video, I thought it was gonna be a really cool painting. And you know, sometimes it just doesn't work out the way you want it. And the reason I'm still making this video is to show you guys that sometimes not everything goes to plan, okay? Um, and I just wanted to show you guys more of my process and more of my thinking behind everything I do. Um, so like, bye? <laughs> bye, I guess? <laughs> Okay, bye.